I'm standing in the Givati car park excavations that are being run by the Israeli Antiquity Authority and Tel Aviv University in the National Park of the City of David. And I'm holding in my hand a seal with ancient Hebrew letters mentioning the name of Akar ben Matanyahu. And I'm standing in the room where this seal was actually found on the floor in the destruction of Jerusalem in 586 BC. It's not a coincidence that this uh, building and the seal that was found in it are located here. We are actually in a building that is built on the slopes uh, of the city of David Ridge towards the Central Valley. From the, somewhere in the 8th century BC, this becomes a central park of the city. I'm standing right now in one of the rooms of a very large structure. A structure that was built somewhere in the late 8th or 7th century BC and was destroyed in a big fire most probably in 586 BC during the Babylonian conquest of Jerusalem. The room was preserved and it was filled with the destruction, most probably of the second floor above it. What you can see behind me, for example, uh, stones from the walls of the second store, burnt beams and uh, pottery vessels that was probably in the house when it was destroyed. The size of this structure, the ashlock stones from which it was built and other remains that were found within it indicate that this house was not a regular dwelling. This was probably the house of a very rich person, maybe an officer or a, a, someone from the administration of Jerusalem. One of the most special finds that we found right here in this room is a small bulla. So this is the bulla of one Netan Melech, servant of the king. And since he is not mentioned with his last name, only first name, we can understand that he was a pretty famous person here in Jerusalem during the mid 7th century time of King Josiah. Now this name, Netan Melech, is mentioned in the Bible only once, in the second book of Kings, where he is mentioned as an official of King Josiah, in a story about the famous religious reforms of King Josiah, who uh, removed the horses that the former kings of Judah dedicated to the sun. The one million dollar question is, am I holding in my hand the bulla of the same Netan Melech who is mentioned in the Bible? Well. I can never say that for certain, but what I can say is that there is an overlap in three things. First, the name Netan Melech, which is rare. Second, the period. We're talking about the mid 7th century BC, King Josiah. And third, the fact that we have the title. So Netan Melech was someone who was close to the king. The city of David, where it all began.